Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today guess what, we're going to learn how to wine. I've made at least three or four videos about whining, how to whine, how to free your body and do the do. Yes, so I have. And if you haven't seen those videos, you can go back and watch them. So don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Subscribe button is there. Touch it. Touch it. No, no, no. Before we go ahead, like and leave a comment. Mm -hmm. Yes, your comment makes me know that you are listening to what I teach you. Okay, I've done this before, but on popular demand, let me redo it again. And I'm going to show you three new tricks on how to start whining on your own beginner's level till you get to the difficult level. I'm going to keep this video really short so you can enjoy and inhale everything that I'm going to teach you today. So I'm going to show you most of the tricks I learned and I used and I applied to whining my waist sorry i'm gonna have to go off topic a lot of people were like okay when you give birth your waist is a bit stiff and all of that it's a lie yo. it's a big lie because i don't know if it's magic my waist actually got more flexible i don't know but you know the waist was wasting <laughs> i'm still doing this exclusive breastfeeding and it's been taking a toll on me i can't wait till it's over and i'm back to my senses because i said now the senses it has lost so it has worked out to some places i cannot even find it let's get into it so now i'm going to turn around i'm going to turn around i'm going to turn around this position, a lot of you say it's really painful. Let me tell you something. Even if you're in the difficult position, intermediary position, beginner's position, it's always painful. The more you do it, the more you get used to it. So you have to be dancing every now and then. For beginner's level, the first thing you want to do is, please don't be shy. If you're shy, you're not even going to go anywhere do not be shy you better remove that cloud of shyness and throw it somewhere you know you would never find it again if this is actually hurting you a lot you can also try this position yes you can do this you can whine like this hmm? you can whine like this but trust me it depends on the kind of song you're dancing there are some songs you just want to spread it and do your thing mm -hmm. you want your thighs separated like this your back is upright don't do this this is what you're going to get nothing you can also do this this is actually my favorite position when whining so you can see that secondly you want to get some shirts that has some space in it you don't want some tight shots like this, okay? So when your shot has space in it, you can actually do anything, you know? It's free, but when it's like this, can you see that? It's stiff. So you need shirts that has space in it in position. The first thing you're going to do is try to give me a 360. This is a 360. Without winding your waist, just do a 360. You'll be surprised. You are you actually winding your waist, but you wouldn't even know. The third thing you need to do is, as a beginner, try as much as possible not to move your hands while winding. Yes. I'm going to show you an example of what I mean. You can be this. You see? It winds best when you are not moving your limbs, your hands, or any other parts of your body, except your waist. When you're moving your hands, it's, it goes, but you know, there's so many things going on. You don't need all of this, okay? You want to focus on your waist only. Either your hands are on the bed, on the floor, or on your body. You can hold yourself like this. To stop your hands from moving 
so this is a 360 i'm actually winding my waist in a 360 this is one two three four one two three four one two three four so this is exactly what i'm doing one two three four one two three four your hips only you're moving your hips only one two three four one two three four just like that okay forget the pain guys just everything is in your head forget the pain don't let the hurt get to you throw that shyness away get shirts that have space in it or skirts that have space in it and you are on your way to the intermediary level Ooh. you're tired make sure you rest it helps to relax the muscles in your thighs another position you can actually try as a beginner is to tip your toes this is actually easier than the one you have to bend your thighs which is a bit hurtful for a beginner as you tend to do it often your body will get used to it you can start with your waist going up down up down up down up down up down as a beginner i would advise you not to move your hands so you are up down up down if you want to add some more spice to it you can go up 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 down 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 up 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 down 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 make sure your toes are firmly on the ground this is a form of exercise so if you're somebody that isn't used to working out or any of that it's going to be way harder for you okay as a beginner if you really want to waste wine to perfection one you have to remove all the shyness from your body and throw it away mm -hmm. throw it away secondly you have to get shirts or skirts that has a little bit of space in it this is the space there has to be space in between that's why if you go through most of the dancers you know if you go through your page go see the kind of shots they used to dance see the kind of skirts they used to dance. you don't just wear anything and dance it's either you're using a scarf you're using shorts or you're using skirts and thirdly even if it feels really painful keep going when you're tired rest and start all over again yes it's going to hurt like i told you it hurts in every level beginner intermediary difficult it hurts in every level trust me do not hesitate to ask me any question i'll be in the comment section sorry most times when i say i'm in the comment section you know something just takes my mind away i usually respond before i give birth <laughs> another thing you should take more often is calcium make sure you have calcium at home it works on your bones a lot and you know it helps your bones to be strong fit and amazing when whining so guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you for watching i love you guys let me know if there's anything difficult that you don't understand and just leave it in the comment section and i will reply you okay okay okay